Hello everybody and welcome back to Firewatch. Um, it is day two. On day one, we had to go tell some teenagers what was what. They were launching fireworks in the forest, potentially putting us all at risk. Um, and uh, in response, we got our typewriter thrown out the window. I think they were a little bit angry at us. It could have been them, um, or it could have been someone else who has another perfectly legitimate reason or illegitimate reason for being mad at us. Uh, we're not really sure. But all we are sure about is that, well, we had to sleep in the cold because there is no insulation in this room. So good thing we've, uh, we've got jackets and layers. Um, Delilah has said good morning to us, so let's go ahead and uh, check in with Delilah. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Hank? Who's Hank? It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, alright. Come on, Delilah, just respect us. Wow. What a beautiful morning. Very beautiful morning. All right. Um, we need to head down down the stairs. I just need to figure out where exactly those stairs are. Oh, seems I've walked the wrong way. There was a way to toggle running. I think it was like R. Maybe uh, we're not allowed to run on top of R precarious tower all right here we go yes now we can run all right we've got forest burns right where we put them there to guard us so next time somebody comes to uh you know break into our tower they'll think twice we'll see what we did for forest burns um so we need to go ahead and take out our map um, so we can remind ourselves where exactly we're going. Um, there was a cave, um, up here by Cache 303, Cave 452. She says we need to go to that cave and then, I think, take this fork north that goes up to Cache 302. Um, we can see this dotted line here. Let's see. Yeah, the dotted line here says telephone. So this is our contact with the outside world. It's very important. We need to make sure that there are no downed lines anywhere here. So we have a plan. Um, we just need to go north. If this is east, that makes this north. Ah, I think we're just following our footsteps from yesterday. Why can I keep radioing about this outhouse? Uh, I, feel like I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. <laughs> Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Yeah, let's go call Delilah on the outhouse. That's going to be a fun. It's going to be a fun phone call. Oh, there's a generator too. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. All right. I've had it with the sarcasm between these two. Beartooth Place. No, Beartooth Point. Is that where we're going? Beartooth Point? Yep. Perfect. We are on the right trail. We 
you can just enjoy some of this beautiful morning atmosphere. Oh! Getting down from these ledges is way easier than climbing up. We can just jump down. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and um, get a morning run in. Um, okay, so we want to be heading north. So I believe that means that we keep going down this way. I think we actually have to go into the canyon. She said where the cave is. So the cave is at the bottom of the canyon. So. Alright. Down, down, down we go. What a fun bit of hiking trail. I've lost sight of the sun, which means I've lost sight of my sense of direction. But I believe this is north. All right. Let's pull out my map. Okay, I do need to go west a little bit before I can go back before I can go north. Cold morning, report fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Don't get any ideas, Delilah. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button I'm is still down. I'm sure. Delilah, I can Would hear you. you. Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. I said I could... Wait, are you talking about me? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, Who I, are you I don't mean to, to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Um. She's sick. Let's be honest. I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm. I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I think we messed up the timing with that conversation a little bit. I think we were supposed to finish that conversation before going in the cave. Um... It sounds like she was talking about us, but it's probably none of our business. She's probably just talking to her boss or something. It didn't sound like she was saying anything bad, so I'm going to respect her privacy. Um, we tried, you know, we honestly tried to let her know that she left her radio on and she didn't respond. So I don't think see any kind of reason to push it any further because I have a feeling that Henry's just going to freak out. He's going to be like, I can't believe you're talking about me. Oh, and, um, I don't think we need to create any more drama. Um, I see the line. Okay, so we're just going to find this line. And we're going to follow it north. If, um, we might have to get our compass out again to remind ourselves which, uh, which way north is. So we want to follow it this way. Okay. Um... 
Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. So Delilah has the unique privilege of being our contact with the outside world. She's probably uh, the one in charge of the whole firewatch operation. I wonder how many other um, firewatches she's got under her wing. She sure does spend a lot of her time radioing us. Or maybe it's just because Henry's really needy. That could be it. Okay, we want to keep going to Beartooth Point. Um, was there a cache somewhere here that we should be aware of? No, not until we get to Beartooth Point. So um, we just need to continue on. We'll just follow underneath the underneath the uh, telephone poles. If this were real life, I feel like we would also need to hike south to check that section of the pole as well. Um, but I guess we're just assuming there's no problems in the south. Maybe another fire watcher is covering it. I mean, I'm looking at the poles here and I can see they're all good to go. I heard some kind of noise. I see the cache. I bet you this is a uh, bear point. Bear bear tooth point? I can't even remember. Okay. Um let's let's get up to that cache box there. I was gonna say I kinda wanna walk up to the top of the point, but I don't know if that's gonna be necessarily worth the climb or even possible. Real life me would totally want to do that. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, the, the wire is down. down? There. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Okay, we gotta go see what the damage is. Oh, so we do have to climb up. Okay, fantastic. I'm so excited. Um, let's go ahead and open this supply box. And some of you guys pointed out that um, I left the supply box open um, last time. I'm going to continue to leave them open. Um, I know it's probably a bad thing. These are supposed to be for rangers only. And if I leave them open, then anyone, any hiker in the public can come. But uh, I need to be able to keep track of which supply boxes I've already looked at. Really? There's a hidden there's a hidden note under a board. Six feet down. No, it's six feet down under. Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia, but when a grisly murder in South City leads all the way to Sydney, Black is determined to make the killers say good day to justice. The critics rave over crime by the numbers. Okay, why was this murder mystery hidden? Um, oh, come on, Henry, don't make a mess. I know we're going to leave the cash box open, but at least put it back. Why was this hidden under our board? Uh, let's go ahead and examine this note. So it looks like it's a note to Dave. We got a note from Dave last time. Dave, heyo. Um, let's go ahead and get this, uh, this version. It'll be easier to read. Dave, hey -o, I got your note about needing to talk. Sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyways. We're co-workers, you know? Amigos profesionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it? Later, Ron. 
Okay, so Dave wants to talk to Ron. Seems like they're friends, but Ron is trying to keep it a little more professional. He's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, oh. Looks like we can radio Delilah. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Huh. Okay, uh, we need to make it to the top to inspect the damage. So... Either we go down and around this way, or we have to go down and around that way. My money's gonna be on down and around the other way, because I think this way is blocked. Yes. Alright, well, I'd be interested to learn more about Ron and Dave. Who they are, if they're still out here. Why they're leaving notes for each other in supply caches. Doesn't seem like the best system. They could just, like, get radios or something, or go physically talk to each other. Again? The teenagers have been here. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Alright, we're gonna have to go clean beer cans again. Somebody has to keep the forest clean. If they were the ones behind this, oh, they are in deep, deep trouble. Potentially breaking into my... Breaking into my tower and downing our communications. Okay, I have a feeling it's not the teenage girls. I mean, clearly they've been here, but... Something a lot more sinister about somebody breaking into our towers and our communications going down at the same time. Coincidence? I'm not sure. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. All right. Big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Alright. Well, the plot thickens. It turns out we were wrong. This was definitely them. Go to hell. They are really angry at us. And I don't understand. All we did was tell them that they can't be launching fireworks. Are they angry because we, we took their whiskey? Maybe I shouldn't have taken their whiskey, but I don't feel like we deserve this level of revenge. Wait, really, Henry? Careful, don't touch. I would not touch the end of a of a wire like that. Henry is much braver than I. Um. So yeah. Um. I guess it is them. I guess this is um. This is a revenge story. Okay. This is kind of petty. I think Delilah wants us to go about this the wrong way. Delilah wants us to um. Go wreck their camp 
and kind of just continue this rivalry. But if we just continue this way, with them sabotaging us and us sabotaging them, uh, well, we're not going to accomplish anything. I feel like that's just going to escalate the problem and make it worse. There's got to be a better way of dealing with this situation. Like, just sitting down and having a calm conversation. You know? I'm not beyond apologizing. I don't feel sorry, but I don't mind saying sorry. If that's what it's going to take. Um, she said maybe loop back to the lake. The, the lake. Um, let's just continue on this way. I think we'll know we're on the right path if we continue seeing beer cans. There's like two possibilities, either they're through this way or they're continuing on this way. Um, let's just, uh, let's try this way. I don't see any beer cans though, that's the problem. You know, we have to just stick to our decision. Oops. I guess I could have radioed it in. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Where did I see them last? Oh, the lake. Okay, Jonesy Lake. I think Jonesy Lake is the right one, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna follow the line, the the sign that says Jonesy Lake. I feel like we've lost our trail though because we've lost the beer cans. But I guess real life people wouldn't be leaving a trail of beer cans everywhere they go. So maybe that's too much to expect. It's not like Hansel and Gretel. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. No explanation? I wonder whose it could be. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Interesting. Oh. Wow, okay, we just took a picture of ourselves. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. C. Nito. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just... How do I lower the camera? Oh, C. Years. Huh, she knows Brian Goodwin. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, near lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned, and, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Thanks, Delilah. Okay, so she knows. She knows um, Brian Goodwin. She was there. Uh, he was there with his dad, um, whose name I've already forgotten, but I'm sure I'll remember next time it comes up in conversation. Let's continue opening all these supply caches um, and leaving them open, so I know I've been here before. We can uh, pencil in all these uh, trails into our map. Fantastic. Um, fantastic. Looks like there is some flowers here. There's another note. There's a loose stone. Wow, exciting stuff. 
fossilized claw. Oh, we gotta talk to Delilah about this. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a <clears throat> cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Alright, let's go ahead and read this. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. Oh, Ron, I thought you wanted to keep it professional and you didn't like talking about your personal life. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself that in that hammock? I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Okay, so... Ron and Dave are friends. It seems like they were former lookouts. And for some reason, they're still out here. And they're leaving each other notes. And they're like spying on the current lookouts. Who are apparently perverted. It makes me think maybe they're somehow caught up in all this. Um... If they're out here leaving notes for each other and spying on the current lookouts, who's to say that they weren't the ones who broke into my tower and spying on me? Uh, looks like there's a fork here. Which way do we want to go? Uh, we could go either way, it looks like. Uh, the most direct way would probably be going back down to Thunder Canyon, but I, we could explore some new stuff and go this way. Let's, why don't we go down to Wapiti Meadow? Um, so we're going to keep with the right fork. So if this is the way we came. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I am a little lost. So we want to be going basically southwest. Southwest is this direction. Okay. What does she have? What does who have? Are you talking about Julia? Sorry, I don't mean to just leap into it if you're not ready. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating, especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. She probably likes hearing about all the drama. I see a really thin... I bet you that's smoke. them. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. All right, looks like there was a recent fire here. Burned tree. All of these logs look burned. Okay. We are on. I'm having a hell of a trail. time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. You want me to go back and see what I can do? No. I want this guy to have to roll his lazy ass all the way out here. It flapjack is a choice phrase, by the way. It really fits the bill in this case. <laughs> Flapjack. How did she communicate with the supposed Flapjack to fix it if our phone lines are down? Bet you didn't think about that. Um, I think this is the direction of the smoke. 
Keyword, think. I think she told us also where to go. And um, I stupidly was not listening. I was thinking about other things. Okay, now we're definitely going in the right direction. All right. Hopefully none of these ropes break like the first time we tried to do this. I'm surprised Henry's still like bravely repelling down things. I would have learned my lesson the first time. All right. Let's go down. you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Oh. I can't seem to report the canyon I'm anymore. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps. West. Um, according to our compass, this way is west. We are going the right way. Yeah, because I thought I still did see the fire. Yeah, there it is. Or maybe that's not maybe that's not the smoke. Maybe that's something else. In any case, we'll get there. I have no worries. Of all the places to hike, I like this canyon the most. I think we should um, climb up this ridge so we can get an eyesight on the, the smoke again. Yep, there it is. We just need a little elevation. Wow. That certainly makes our hike a little better. We've got some uh, cool music now. We must be getting close. The column of smoke looks bigger. Is this the uh, where we were yesterday at the lake? I think this was. Yep, they were th they were right there. And so uh, we just need to continue on this way. Oh, okay. Apparently. This game does not like you off-roading. Okay, note to self. Stick to the trails. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Ah, sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I, uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. 
I think we're going the wrong way. We're going back up to Thunder Canyon, which we should not be. There should be another trail, like right here, where we can hopefully get down. I don't know. But I don't want to go hike back up Thunder Canyon. I don't think that's right. Um, a little guidance, Delilah, would be nice. Just saying. I don't know if you can tell, but we're pretty bad at navigation. Okay. I think this is the way. We'll try to stick to this trail that barely looks like a trail. Okay, so this is the way we came to the lake on the on day one. We came to the lake and came from the lake on different paths. Yeah, if I recall correctly, there was like a bra hanging there or something, so... Okay. We're, we're on the right path. More beer cans. Or did I just forget to pick that up from the first day? So irresponsible. They're downing power lines out in the wilderness. They're making campfires. They're leaving trash everywhere. Launching fireworks. I cannot believe these people. Um, is there some kind of like ranger here who can like some law, law enforcement that can actually arrest them? I'm pretty sure like there's got to be like laws that they're breaking. Doesn't the government take, you know, forest fires pretty seriously? Alright, we're going to continue hiking up to this column of smoke. Or at least trying to. Looks like we have to stay on the trail, more or less. And, uh... It looks like my original plan of doing a day each episode is not going to work out. Looks like we still have a long way to go for day two. And uh, this episode is already getting up in, uh, up in time to our usual 40 minutes. So I think we're going to end it here and we're going to do um, the evening of day two in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.